Hello everyone, welcome back with another useful video in our channel. In this video, we will see how we can boot Clonezilla powerful cloning software from internal hard disk. We don't require USB pen drive or CD-ROM. This video is also not about network boot. So let's begin how we can do that. First, we need to create a new partition and the new partition should be on FAT32 file system. In boot menu option, we can only see FAT32 partitions which contain boot files. We can create FAT32 partition from command prompt. To do this graphical, we need a software is US Partition Master. Link to the software can be found in the description below. First, I am opening command prompt and I am typing disk mgmt. This will open the disk management utility. I am having two hard disk in my laptop. From my first hard disk, I am having 124 GB of free space. From that, I am shrink 5 GB of unallocated space. Now we have 5 GB of unallocated space from the 124 GB volume. Now we need to open the East US Partition Master. And from the hard disk 0, which is our first hard disk, we need to create the new partition from 5 GB unallocated space. For identifying this partition in later use, I am just naming it as Clonezilla. I am giving it in partition label and if in the file system I am giving as FAT32. And finally we need to select the apply. Then the 5 GB of unallocated space will become 5 GB size of FAT32 partition. We can see from the file explorer. Then we need to extract the Clonezilla ISO image to the Clonezilla partition. I am opening the ISO image with WinRare. I am going to extract the ISO file to the Clonezilla partition. Now if we go to the Clonezilla partition, it will contain the Clonezilla extracted files. We have done almost all the settings, only final step it remains. To see the Clonezilla in the boot menu option, we need to add it to the EFI entry. For this, we need to use a software ECUEFI. A link to this software also can be found in the description below. Select the EFI boot option and select create a new entry. In type, select Linux or other OS and description just for understanding give it as clonezilla as we can see on the down there is a small circle only on the fat 32 partition it indicates we can only add fat 32 partitions to the boot menu option so this is our clonezilla fat 32 partition we need to select that and we need to choose the browse and expand the directory and under the EFI directory we need to select the boot and down there we have grub into 64.efi we need to add this EFI file to the entry to see the clonezilla in the boot menu option we have done all the settings now we have to reboot the system when display on we need to press F12 for see the boot menu option. This will differ from system to system. Now the system is being rebooted. And when the display on, we press F12 for enter into boot menu option. From the boot menu option, we are able to see there is a entry clonezilla. We select the clonezilla option this will boot the clonezilla live iso in the boot menu option we cannot control the brightness of our pc screen so i am just reducing the exposure of my video recording so we are able to see the clone live iso now we are able to see that there is no usb devices attached to our laptop the Clonezilla Live ISO is being booted from internal hard disk. 
I hope this video is really helpful. We will meet with another useful video in our channel.